Being the best parent to our child or our children does not come by spoiling them, but instead instilling morals, principles and values. We do not raise our children for ourselves, but instead for the world. Speak life on top of your children's lives. Words matter. Words are powerful. Your words are your seed to your children. You have a choice to use them either in a good way or a bad way. Let's constantly remind them of the love we have for them, what they will become and the principles to follow in order for them to survive this world. God trusted us to raise what he calls a blessing. We need not to take this responsibility for granted because God could have trusted anybody else with our children. People are out there struggling to have children, yet we take them for granted. Let's always remind our children how handsome, cute or beautiful they are, how smart or creative or how great they are at what they do always. Tell or remind them of the leader they will become one day. The ages 8 to 12 is your child's molding stage. This is when they pick up habits, observe the tricks of life and learn from their parents as to how to live their lives. Let's not make the mistake of directing our children, but instead guide them. Neither should we abandon them emotionally. Children do not take rejection well. Choose the words you use in front of your children when addressing somebody else. You experience life first. Be the captain of your child's ship. Love your children without excuses and build them effortlessly. Being a single parent does not change your role as a parent to your child or children. Be grateful instead because that means that God trusts you so, so much that he knows you can make it perfectly on your own. What God removes from your child is exactly the same principle with God removing people from your life and instead loving you from a distance. What we teach our children is the direction their lives will steer in. Children, do not forget. We often wonder why our children do things in a certain way, but a part of it has to do with our teachings or upbringing. Build valuable morals for them. Encourage them to live a better life always. At the age we're in, we even still need to be encouraged. Don't live your dreams through your child or children. Your child is not you. Whatever it is that we teach our children now is something they will either use for the best or something they will have to pay for later on in their lives. Children look up to us as their role models. They are allowed to make mistakes. They are human too. We had our fair share of making mistakes too. Abusing your child verbally, etc. won't make them better, but instead destroy their future. Faith comes by hearing. Children live up to what they are told as well. Refrain from destroying your child's dreams or future through your selfish ways. I speak a blessing and favor unto your children, a bright future, a journey of never-ending abundance, a leader, an inventor, God's favorite fan with wisdom, excellent health, and an example to many, a philanthropist, and a lover of God's creations. Let's love our bundle of joys unconditionally. Thank you so much. It is motivational. Catch up with Jazz. Please do like and share my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay home and stay blessed. Love you all. Thanks. Bye.